This just in. I'm That's Justin. Not Jake. <laughs> So we have some announcements uh, for you. Sunday's coming. Uh, A few days from now, Sunday, May 17th, is our Senior Recognition Sunday. And even though everything's uh, changing and and, uh, things were canceled, we were committed to, um, committed to, uh, to continuing to have have this be on May 17th, partly because you're graduating and that's still happening mm. in a time where you're probably experiencing some seniors, at least some disappointment that you can't have a normal ceremony. We're going to have a ceremony. Uh, so uh, one of the perks, a uh, lot of perks of being a church, but uh, we get some, some exemptions, some things that we're allowed to do. So we're going to have seniors are going to walk this Sunday. They're going to be coming in. They know the details. If this is the first you're hearing it of a senior, it's not too late. We'd love to have you be a part of it. Seniors are going to walk, and uh, we're going to, you're going to, so if you tune in at 9 o'clock um, to calvarybible.org or to our YouTube channel, you're going to see our seniors mm. and, and celebrate them. Real Cheer live. from your home. Make, get loud uh, yeah. and show them some, uh, some <laughs> encouragement and appreciation. They might hear you. Uh, and so that's this Sunday morning. Uh, and also, Jake and I and Zach DeYoung are going to be on the panel for the Life Group Ooh. after that, too. That's at 1030. So that's if you've stuff. tuned into that before, or even if you haven't, and you're just like, man, I really wish I could see those guys. Like, I miss them. Mm. There you go. Sunday night is our last Live 44 for the school year. And uh, that's at the standard 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, the link is the same. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the same link that we've had. Ow. Uh, and... Um, that uh so you can register uh, ahead of time it's again the same way it's been working the whole time and uh, we had some special things uh that night too we had some uh some special not like guests because they're through video but um showing some for the seniors uh yeah. we also have um we're gonna announce um what's coming this summer and you're probably wondering well, what what this is the last may 17th this is it what's yeah. next we're gonna give you an idea of what's what's some coming good things so. to come that's uh but what else we got but we're not telling them the good things until sunday night not no so you'll have to tune in sunday night to hear those things uh but also sunday night so after our live 44 this sunday we're doing our after party which we told you about a few weeks ago you may have forgotten but here's a reminder after party this sunday night so it's actually going to be a different link because we're going to do it in a zoom call rather than the webinar so you'll actually be able to see each other's faces we're going to have a game that you all compete in during the after party and the winner of that game tell him Jake is going to get your choice of takeout with Justin and I yeah <laughs> so I don't know if it went uphill and then downhill that we're joining you whoever wins we, Justin and I will bring you takeout from wherever you choose you and your family we'll bring you takeout Wednesday the 27th at noon and enjoy a meal with you probably like outside distance. We'll, we'll bring some chairs from and each sit other. on your lawn or something. Uh, yeah. It'll be awesome. It'll be, it'll be great. So join us for Live 44 and the after party for a chance to win takeout with us. Virtual Bible study, if you haven't been joining us, we have two more weeks left Wednesday at 2 p.m. Join us. We're watching a Right Now media stream and then it's a Zoom call. So again, we can see each other's faces again and Justin and I are kind of leading through some discussion questions. It's really uh, a time of some some biblical kind of devotion together, as well as just hanging out in fellowship and relationships. So Wednesday at 2 p.m., join us on the Zoom call. That link is also in our link tree, where you can find pretty much the link to everything we're doing right now. I bet they're wondering what all these rainbow yeah. colored. Yeah. Well, uh, watch tell them. I'm sure you were wondering what they were. So Dan is actually going to join us. It's an illusion. It's we're baby. actually like 10 feet apart. You uh, just can't tell. It's just, I know it's hard to. So we got a gift from the Hinkles. The Hinkles mm-hmm. sent Justin and I a gift here at Calvary. Hint, hint to everyone else who hasn't sent us a gift. We are accepting gifts. They sent us four really weird flavors of soda. I can't even describe these Smell flavors. horrible. <laughs> Since Smell Justin and I opened, terrible. we opened the package because it had our names on us and we on it, and we thought it was gonna be like Christmas. But it actually was for terribly. <laughs> it's kind of like how the excitement went up. We're like, free meal with Jake and Justin. Yeah. Like, gift. Gift, except it's yeah. horrible <laughs> soda flavors. <laughs> no, it's so we know, Justin and I know what the flavors are. Dan doesn't. So we're going to start with Dan tasting them and guessing the flavors. And then Justin and I are also going to go through the torture of tasting them as well, since we're making Dan. And Justin and I are just going to rate them on probably worst to even worse. Let's do a scale from 1 to 13. Do you want to go left to right or right to left? I can tell you, you probably won't want any of them. <laughs> Oh, I'll, let you, I'll let you sip it first. I want to see your. What's your reaction? What's your guess? 
I don't know. Did you smell it? Tastes like <laughs> dirt. It's actually it's you're not in, as bad as you're I in the ballpark. Thought. It tastes like roots, dirt. <laughs> roots. <laughs> uh, like uh, charcoal, <laughs> ashes. <laughs> it's, it's that good. It's that good. It's actually yeah. It's, right. it's bacon it's soda. Bacon um, soda. Uh, Y'all get bacon. your fixings. Does not taste like bacon. It smells. It kind of smells like dog treat bacon though. Smell it. It, it, it smells like those dog treats, like <laughs> the bacon yeah. bits that you give to your dog it, uh, or something. Well, uh, um, put this guy. So here. bacon. Bacon good. was number one. It was not dirt or ashes. <laughs> I'd rate it out like I'd say let's let's give it a six. <laughs> six. So six. below. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm gonna give that. I'm thinking that there's gonna be a couple that are worse. So I'm gonna give it a five to give me room to rate the other ones worse. It I'm, wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I'm gonna give it a seven because mm. I think if if forced to, I could drink the whole thing. Wouldn't like it, but I could actually put it, I could put it down. There is sugar in it, so yeah. That's all. It, um, okay, number two. All right. So bacon, was, was, it smells worse than it tastes actually. This one Dan should guess, right? So oh, Dan, look in here. Dan should oh, Dan should know this one. Is it grass. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Well, uh, How much of the grass have you eaten while working? <laughs> grass soda, mowed and bottled in the it. USA. Kind of tastes a little bit like sod. <laughs> I think that one was better. I would say that was better than. It bacon. tastes like grass mixed with like some Sprite. Yeah. It's not. It's not horrible. That's actually. All right. <laughs> what, what, what do you rate it? I, I would drink this too. I'd say. It actually, isn't earthy. I'd know. say I give it a, a nine. I'd say, I'll give it a nine too. That's a good number, actually. I'm That's gonna go ten. Good. I just feel like I've been, I've been <laughs> gonna want to go keep it. It's a, not a competition. One upper. All right, um, next one. I have a feeling the last one's gonna be my least favorite, but I'm not sure. Oh, I think this one will be. Oh really? Mmm. Mmm. It tasted kind of orangey at first, but oh, it'll, see the thing is, these all look good. It's like a deception. Of it, the, the aftertaste is really bad. It's got like some kick afterwards. Mm. The kick makes sense. Is it like dog drool? I think Jake would probably like this with ranch. I if that, would. That, oh. uh, then it's barbecue sauce. No. Oh, it's close. close. I should, it's it's actually, actually, it is getting hotter in my mouth. Yeah. Though. Hot sauce? That's pretty close on wings. <laughs> it's actually wings? getting it's getting a lot hotter. <laughs> hot wings? The longer you wait, yeah. Buffalo sauce, I think. Wow, that is increasing in temperature. I don't even like popcorn, in, but in disgusting. What is it? something. It is buffalo hot wings. Buffalo. This hot is wings like sauce. someone put Frank's Red Hot and Sprite. It wasn't there. bad at first. But no, it really. The, the after really kills gets you. you. I'm giving that one. That tastes like, better than the bacon, but definitely not as good as the. I think I gave bacon a five, so I'm going with a six. Because the aftertaste. Yeah, I'll go with. I'll give it a six. Oh, man, we're, I'm oh. going three. That was <laughs> rancid. <laughs> that was terrible. The aftertaste was bad. I had like one sip. And I'm like, still no. leaving room for this last one because I know what the flavor is and I'm just expecting to hate it. All right, Daniel. Okay. See, I don't even like popcorn, but relative to these drinks, this is helpful. Okay, well. I like that. Mm. It looks good. It tastes <laughs> like. Was that a good? Mm. It tastes kind of like Imagine. medicine. Pepno Bismo. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Pepno Bismo. Pe Pepno Bismo. I want to say it? that you're close. What is it? Hold but on. But are we not. gonna ignore concert? the fact that Dan said Pepno Bismo? No way. I did. Is that that accent? Pepno Bismo. I, I, What's I it missed called? that. What's it called? Pepto Bismo. Pep. Pepno. No, is it? Is there an L in? It? Is it Bismo or no? It's. It's Pep. Oh, Bismol, isn't it? Is it? Isn't there a T? I don't, a even know what I don't think there's an A. Is it Pepto Bismo? Or no, no that can't be right. Pepto Bismo. Is it Mall? Like he Bismol? said Pepto Bismo. Like, I don't know. It's, I don't it's, know. Let hey, us know in the comments. It's, uh, you think. I thought it was Pepto Bismol. This would make making my smell son's it. lunch is easier. It. it might if give I, it away if you smell it. If I just. It actually smells a lot like. I mean. Imagine I a. That one's that's it's, pretty it's good. It's not bad. It tastes like. It really isn't bad. I don't know. It's a sandwich with jelly. Oh, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> and something else. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's PB and J. Does it taste like it? No. No, nah, this one actually tastes Ugh. much better than I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna not give that one a high score. What do you give it, Dan? Really? That one's probably my favorite. 
No. I like the grass. Yeah, grass. <laughs> I think the grass, grass is better. I'd say I'll give it a 5.5. I'm going to go with a 5.4. Okay. 5.4, I guess. It's worse. like the price is right right now. <laughs> He's like underbidding you. Total of 10.9 um, we're at right now. All right. With our I will points. give it a 12.1 because I actually liked it. And that ends us with a total of 23. 23. In honor of Michael Jordan's documentary, The Last Dance, that and someone Kobe. was mad at me about. And Kobe. <laughs> But he was like yeah, eight yeah. for a while. In dance. Kobe 23? wasn't 23. Kobe no, was 24. 24. Kobe was 24. He's 24 years old? Yeah, but I'm feeling 22. He doesn't know Kobe's number. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for participating, Dan. Um, we got some questions. So this one, I believe this is from Paul Manring. Has Jake or Justin been in more car accidents? You know how many you've been in? I've been in the car for two accidents, but not driving. Uh, in my adult years, I was in one as a kid, I think. But I don't know if that's what he's asking. And I've I've been hit and hit someone. Yeah. <laughs> so at least, like at six, least no, it's at least four. Six things. No, two. That one that I, I I had a fender bender in my college years. I bumped someone, mm -hmm. and then I got bumped recently. Well, I've only, I haven't ever been in an oh, accident. Oh, make, make that three. <laughs> I've only known you for like two, two of my three has been two in the years. Last and two years. I know. Does, it, does the bus include backing into someone's car? Oh, and you wrecked the, the bus. bus. <laughs> and you wrecked the bus in the jerk park. Definitely Justin. Justin is me. Remembering more as we talk. I've actually never me, been. Me. I've never been in the car for an accident. Um, my car got totaled in the high school parking lot, which I think I shared a couple weeks ago. But it was just parked there, and some girl. Trucked it. All right, this one is from Joel. The U.S. is so diverse with wetlands, deserts, mountains, and prairies. What is your favorite place you've been in our country? What's your favorite place? I mean, Hawaii. I guess it's not the oh. continental United, but that there's that's good. Some of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Mm. My favorite is just because I grew up going there all the time. Wilmington, North Carolina. It's right on the edge of North Carolina and South Carolina, but. I feel like it's not crazy beautiful or anything. It's just my favorite place to go because it's near the ocean. A close second for me, this is very different than Hawaii, is Colorado. We did a little mm. bit of hiking in the last year. All right, this one is from Brooke. What is your greatest accomplishment? You want me to go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna say marrying Brooke. Mm. I hope that, hope that gives me some brownie points at home. Yeah. Good luck. I think she heard that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that, that that has to be like that's actually where my mind was going. But I'm like, I don't know if that's like outside of getting Katie to marry me. Um, it's big. But getting her to say yes, I think after that, it, it's the the engagement was easy. The marriage itself wasn't that hard. But like getting another human being to say, yeah, times? I'll live with you <laughs> for life. All right, this one from Elena. What's something new you learned this week? Did you learn anything new? I've learned that uh, they have awful flavored pops. Um, I did learn that too. I learned from Brooke's brother that Nintendo DS, that the DS stands for dual screen because there's two screens on a DS. I never knew that my whole the more you know. childhood. Have you ever cried during a movie? If so, which one? Can you? I, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not a, like maybe get teary eyed, but I, I'm trying not. Trying to be manly. I mean. Just is that how you got Katie? Because you're so manly. <laughs> That's, how she That's said, part yes. of it. It's my just general overall overall manliness. Is <laughs> Masculinity is yeah super high. The one that comes to mind for me is Radio. When he have you seen Radio? I have. When he is crying because his mom dies. I shouldn't be smiling about. Pretty much pulls out. I'm imagining Jake crying. All right. It's been a good time. <laughs>